Hello everybody, this is Galidor and this is my first video ever here on YouTube. I'm from DeviantArt originally and I also live in Mexico and I'm 24 years old. I've been drawing since I can remember. I started with, uh, well, with dinosaurs and animals and then discovered that dragons looked amazing because they could fly and they had wings and I think they're awesome. So I decided to start a series of tutorials on how to draw them and not just how step by step to draw them but also the anatomy and why it looks like it does and we're going to learn how to make different kinds of dragons and their their whys, their do's, their don'ts and many other things and if you want to leave a comment with suggestions you're welcome to so I hope you like this first video, it's gonna be short, just a general overview of what we're going to do and after that, each two weeks or one week, I'm going to start making more video tutorials. And as we go along, we're going to learn together because I still am in my path of learning. And I hope, well, I can help you and you can help me. So, we're going to start learning many different kinds of dragons. So, yeah. I love, I love them all. So, it's fun. You'll see. So my favorite one is the the western kind, you know, the, the one that has the four limbs, but also wings. And why I like it is because it is a very unique dragon. It has more possibilities than many other animals to move, like you usually see four-legged animals with no wings, or bats, they have wings but they don't have four limbs, right? So that's why I find them so special. These are the western kind. Of course you can get a book and find how many different dragons there are. And there are so many and that's a fun part because they don't exist so you can create anything you want and it will still look awesome. Then we have the worms. It's more like a snake. They're long. And they, I think they don't have legs. They're just like these awesome, wormy, wormy things. They're more like snakes, but I still love them. You can add the flex if you want. No one is telling you no. There's also the wyverns, which are little friendly dragons that look more like bats or dinosaurs than anything else. So the ones that just have like the front wings, you know, and their hind legs. I still like them, but I prefer them to have front paws. I think it makes them look cooler. Yay, now they have little eyes. So, what else? Oh, there are the longs. I think they're written like this. The long dragon. It's a typical kind of Chinese dragon, you know. The one that has whiskers. And their bodies are long. And they usually don't have wings. But, as I said before, there's no limit so you can add anything you want to them. If you've seen mm, Spirited Away, Haku is a, is a long. It's Japanese, the movie is Japanese, but still, it's the kind of dragon that looks like a wolf mixed with a chicken and a snake. And I find it truly, truly amazing because they can move. Like, like they're snakes, but they're flying, so I think that's really awesome. Also, Dragon Ball has one of those dragons. It's really interesting. The other kinds of dragons that you can draw really, really vary. So you can make their shapes like anything you want. And I want to like mix them with horses, with cats, with bats. And I get inspiration from nature, from fish, from birds, from anything really. And as we go along with these videos, I'm going to show you more books by different authors that I really love that I find them really inspiring, as well as some links to other DeviantArt artists that I find really inspiring and their art. And, well, this is just like the basic dragons I truly, truly love. My favorite ones. You can add them with two tails, right? Why not? With two heads. Yay, two heads. Or more, more heads. Why not? And of course, there are many other kinds of dragons, I suppose. And you can create your own. 
and I suppose many of you have original characters that are dragons, or you had them in mind, or you thought about them, and if you do, and if you have an idea, just keep going at it, you know, there's no limit to it. And so I will give you some little small pointers, like don't be afraid. I know it's kind of easy to be tempted to stop drawing dragons, because you see them as very complicated to draw. They have all these things, their legs and their wings, and the posing of the wings and the poses of the dragons can be really hard to draw sometimes. I know that myself. I went to uh, a phase when I just drew them facing one side, and it was kind of just sad. It's really sad. But as you go along, you can find inspiration from anything, and then just make it your own. And I will give you tips on how to draw poses and stuff like that. And remember, we're learning together. To be a pro, I have very like specific things. To be a pro, the first one should be this. Practice. Yay! Reference. Observe. Yeah, those are like the, the best tips ever. Why? Because if you keep practicing how to draw these things, how to make them, and create your own, you will learn how to do them by yourself eventually. If you reference, don't be afraid to reference people. It's necessary. Find inspiration in animals. See how they move, and then you'll be able to draw their limbs and, and their wings and mix them up and make future creatures that don't exist. You'll see, that will be awesome. And then observe from nature, from books, from other artists. Try to learn from them, try to copy what they do, and don't be afraid to copy as long as you learn, not just take it for yourself and copy something and pretend it's yours, no, that doesn't work. But I'll teach you many, many ways I've been learning how to draw dragons since I can remember, so it's been a long journey, and I still go in this journey, and I'm not alone, which is amazing. I've met many great people and artists who've, well, who've been drawing this for a while, and I'll show you their usernames so you can Google them and see for yourself how awesome they are. And each of them has their own style, and so that's also something else. Don't be afraid to not find your style at first, or to not have a style, because everybody has their own, and I guess if you want to compare yourself to other people, you suck the joy out of it. And I've done that my fair share of times, and it sucks. Because I, I kept thinking, oh, that person draws better than me, and he's younger than me, or whatever. And then you, you get all these complaints in your mind that you cannot draw anything because, oh, they do it better, right? So you just stop. No, don't do that, please. I've done that, and it sucks. First of all, it will make you stop wanting to draw, and then you'll lose yourself there. You can keep comparing yourself to every other artist out there and never really go anywhere. So don't be scared to find your own style. And even if you don't really want to draw dragons, like you don't want to draw them forever, just once, that's okay too. I have to start learning other things, like I draw humans now, but it's still complicated, so don't worry about that, okay? So this is my first video. I really hope you enjoy it. I'll do a little intro so you so you can see what the other videos are going to be about. So as this is my first, I'll just leave it like it is. And don't worry about my ugly little sketches. They are brushed. But you'll see much better works from now on. You're also free to visit my page, my link. I'll leave it down in the comment section. You're also welcome to leave comments. I appreciate them a lot. And if you have constructive criticism, it's also really absolutely welcome. We'll be talking about more of those things in the future. And, well, this was Gally. Or Gallidor. My true name is Danny, Daniela. You can call me Gally. So that's it for now, guys. I really hope you enjoyed my little piece of advice. More to come. Thank you for your attention.